Hey there, I'm in Hyrule Field and we're going to be learning Mega Side Hops. So Mega Side Hops in Ocarina of Time work with explosives and we're going to use the pushback of the explosives to get the side hop to go super far. Let's just learn the inputs. So we're going to be using that wonderful tree uh, because it's surrounded by flat ground so uh, it's gonna be pretty constant. So what you want to start doing is just aim at the middle of the tree and then bonk into it and then you place a safe state so that you can uh, be training from that exact position compared to uh, the tree. Okay? Uh, what we will be doing is throw a chew at this tree and it's going to explode when it touches the tree. So like this at first we don't need to care about when the chew explodes or when the bomb explodes. We can just learn the inputs and get comfy with it before going to the next step. Alright, so the inputs, it's going to be you press shield and then you roll quickly after. You want to be rolling either one, two, three, or four frames after the shield, but you don't want to be rolling on the same frame as you press shield, okay? That's gonna be something pretty constant uh, with two tricks. Uh, you sort of never want to roll uh, on the same frame as the shield. Always use that kind of delay. Uh, let me give you an idea. The rhythm is something like this. Pa pa. Pa pa. Okay? Ta ta. So if you want visuals, that's what happens when you press shield. On the first frame, the shield is on the side and then it comes up uh, straight in front of Link and stays like that. Alright? So you shouldn't see the shield up for too long before the roll animation starts. Alright? And this should happen at first. You can notice that Link is not going inside the explosion. It's shielding it from the outside and just getting pushed back. Now, uh, we're gonna be changing that with the next step. The next step is right after the roll, so you rolled with using A, Right after that, you're going to input either left or right, depending if you want to side hop left or if you want to side hop right. All right? You're still holding target and you're still holding shield. You just never release shield after you use it. So this will happen. That's with right. And that's with left. Okay, so as you can see, the fact that I'm using uh, a joystick input is going to make Ling go inside the explosion. And uh, you could usually call that Mega Side Hop with hit, uh, which means the one that goes inside the explosion. There's three ways to do Mega Side Hops, uh, same as Mega Backflips, but this is the only relevant one for Mega Side Hops because the other one would just give you more distance but you could achieve that with Mega Backflip. So just care about that one, okay? You go inside the explosion with your joystick input, get used to those inputs, and uh, when you feel ready, you can start mashing A. Basically, the frames that you want to be aiming for with this mashing is going to be the first few frames that uh, Link is going to get hit by the explosion. So let's just watch it frame by frame. So now I'm going to be holding left as a joystick input. This is first hit frame, second hit frame, third hit frame, and fourth hit frame, which is uh, for this setup, the last one that is going to be working. And as you can see, it does a mega side hop. Since it's pretty lenient and you cannot press A too early, mashing is all right. So just work on it. I'm gonna force myself to mash because I usually time it. Timing is better, but mashing is fine for mega side hops. Don't worry about it. So get used to it. Don't worry about uh, taking your time, get it into muscle memory, and uh, maybe consider like not going to the next step before waiting for a day. Muscle memory grows during sleep, mostly. So yeah, once you're comfy with this, which is kind of the quick sequence of inputs that happen with Mega Side Hops, then you can move on to doing it on flat ground with nothing that's gonna help you uh, with the explosion. So now you're going to have to be used to when the bombs explode and when the chews explode. Okay, I'm gonna be helping you with that and we're going to be uh, having uh, little drawings about when to roll. 
So first, let's check the very common setup for uh, Mega Side Hops with bombs on flat ground. So you start by shield dropping the bomb, and you want to shield drop it quickly. You could press uh, you could press shield and bomb at the same time. It will work. That's just fine. You never need to release shield after that. Uh, or you could press the shield immediately after. What you want is that the bomb stands on the right of Link. This is going to make it easier for you to visually uh, see the bomb. Visually see. Okay, so instant shield drop, then dry roll and backflip. And that sets your position compared to the bomb. Alright, so uh, that's going to be the setup. Huh? And then you watch the bomb. And you want to be aware of when it's going to explode. Okay, so now let's watch the frames that uh, are going to be the ones that we want to roll on. So as you can see, the frames that you want to roll on with bombs is going to be the five frames that are just before the first explosion. Okay, so you want to be comfy with when is the bomb just about to blow up. Same as with uh super slides and uh most other tricks okay so drop the bomb dry roll backflip get ready and i missed it let's try again okay this is what should happen all right so that's good with bombs so yeah quick reminder with bombs you want to be comfy with the bomb fuse timing and when it's going to explode. And that's why we've been learning on the tree so that we know the quick sequence of input that comes after, and then you can fully focus on getting comfy with the timing. Okay, it sort of takes time, so uh, don't get frustrated. If you don't get it every single time, uh, you'll get there. Now let's go on and learn how to time with shoes. So choose fuse is a little different and I'm gonna give you a very simple cue uh, in order to know when to press shield because depending on where you when you press shield then the chew is going to be either super far away so if you press shield super early then the chew is going to explode very far away uh, if you press shield way too late, uh, it's gonna explode either in your hands or just at your feet. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, you don't care about the PDPDP, okay, but that's that's the interesting part. But what you care about is five, six, seven. Okay. 5, 6, 7 have a different rhythm than the other ones, and you want to be aware of that rhythm. So 5, 6, 7, and you imagine 8. There's no 8, but you imagine 8, okay? 5, 6, 7, 8. And instead of saying 8, you're going to be pressing shield. And then same thing as on the tree. You delay the roll, so you roll just a little bit after, okay? Always same thing, aim for 2, 3 frames. Dun, dun. Tom, 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 tom. And then same quick sequence of inputs. So uh, let's see if I can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. You can do mega side hops with bombs, with chew, and on trees. Well done. 